guys, welcome back to Ronnie's Rundown. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> welcome back to Ronnie's Rundown. Yo, welcome back, guys. Like, what's up? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? Look, if you are new here, like, comment, subscribe, join the family. We would love, love, love to have you over here. So, okay, enough with the chatting. Here's the rundown. First off, we are having a bunch of California rolls. I have some avocado, some crab, um, and oh, what is this? And is that zucchini? Zucchini. This is a California set, and we're having spicy noodles too. Whew, I'm so hungry, guys. I'm at the pace that the place that pays. So I'm about to get in. Mm, mm -mm. Hmm. How y'all doing? If you've been rocking with Ronnie for a while, then you already know she chopstick illiterate. So don't be judging me when <laughs> or if mm. no. Wasabi's make some of the freshest freshest um sushis. Mm. Mm, so good. Oh, how y'all been? I hope all is well with you, your family, your friends, your job, your well being, your health. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm dipping my sushi and um and um low sodium soy sauce mixed with some wasabi. So. It's a little spicy. Yo, oh God. These noodles are hitting. Like, hitting. I stumbled upon these noodles in my local supermarket. Um, Because I know everybody's been eating the noodles, and I'm a little bit behind the wave or whatever. But I found them in my local supermarket. And let me tell you something. I have been eating them ever since with everything. So, I said, let me just do do it on camera. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, I'm a little chopstick illiterate. Oh. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have a little bit of ginger here. Oh, gosh. I need I need lessons <laughs> on how to work the chops the chopsticks. Mm, mm, mm. Everything is just fresh. So let me see if I can break this one up and get to this one. Ooh. See guys, I'm not that great with this. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna talk in a minute. Good. And I was just gonna do the noodles, but I was craving sushi. Let me know if y'all eat sushi down below. And if so, what's your favorite roll? What's your favorite type? I like this, um or I really like the um the temporas. Or the spicy fried crab, like the fried ones. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Mm. Like at first, everybody always start off with their California rolls, then they venture out to more stuff. But. You gotta be very careful where you get it from because you mess around, get sick. Mm. 
no joke. So, as y'all can see by the title, mm, 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 mm. Kanye West just dropped a new album and a IMAX, um, kind of like movie slash video kind of documentary thingy. To go with it. The only thing is that I didn't get a chance to go to the movies. Um, he dropped the album on you know your social media, all, all the music platforms, but the video you got actually like go to the movies to see it. Like I didn't see it, so I could only pretty much do a review on the music that I heard. That was sobby hitting. Ooh. Me, my eyes hurt. My, my nose hair burning. My eyes water. <laughs> but, um, I have some, oh, I have some pineapple hemp water. So, he dropped this album. It's called Jesus is King. And, <clears throat> I know some people are probably like, why are we even talking about Kanye? He's so canceled. He's so this. He's so that. But why he was going through all of that stuff and wearing the mega hat, MAGA hat, and, you know, all the stuff that he was going through. I never took it personal. As a person who was very close to their mom and lost their mom, I, I, I couldn't take it personal. Like, until you lose somebody so... that is like, my mom was my best friend. Like, we literally did everything together. So, to lose somebody like that, very... Younger in your age, he wasn't that old when he lost his mom. You know, his success and stuff was just going, really. Like, it literally can send you in a downward spiral. When I lost my mom, I had left my church um, because I didn't like the way things was handled when my mother died. But that was just the, the, the ice, the tipping on the iceberg. Then, um, you know, I literally couldn't close my eyes and go to sleep without alcohol. Like, I had to drink. So, I don't have my mom. I don't have my dad. I don't have my grand, no grandparents left. So, like, me and my sister were saying, and then, then some people shied away from me. Because we reminded us that, you know, the, the loss of my mother was really, really detrimental to them. So they didn't rock with us for a long time. And it was because they were grieving within themselves. So, you could literally go down a rabbit hole. I used to drink to go to sleep. I couldn't sleep unless I was drunk. Not even drunk, like, inebriated. <laughs> like, not sloppy, not throwing up, not none of that, but I, I had to drink in order to go to sleep. It was a horrible, it was the most horrible thing in the world, the horriblest feeling in the world to lose my mother. So, and then I didn't have the support of church or I wasn't mad at, I thought I wasn't mad at God, but I was. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I thought she was going to make it, you know, and, and it was just a huge disappointment and a huge gap. Gaping hole was left in my heart and my family. And to be completely honest, it haven't been the same since she's been gone. So when Kanye went through all of that, hugging up on Trump and talking about slavery, and everything, you can clearly see this bright young man, um, you know, smart, you, you know, because let's not forget, you know, he's a genius 
at what he does. He is exceptional. He is like the top of top of what he does. So let's not forget that, right? So the coach is like, oh, cancel him, cancel him, cancel him. But at the end of the day, you can't cancel someone who is not in their right mind. And when I would see him, he would have this off look in his eyes. Whenever I seen him on TV, he looks staring off. And even when he was with Trump, he, then when he would be talking, because he's so brilliant, you know, and, and nine times out of ten, he's always speaking over our heads. But this was different because it, it was even all over the place. So I, I, what I did was I started praying for Kanye because I knew that God wanted to use him for something, and he was just being attacked. And grief was the gateway to get in his mind. So, now that I've put that out there, I watched some of his recent interviews. I listened to the album from front to back. And my review is this. I'm excited for his next project. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Number one, you can hear pockets of true, authentic worship in the music. You can hear pockets of that. And then you hear pockets of him. He's in transition right now. He's, 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 oh, he's zealous. He's excited. He's open. Because he said he just been, he's just been born again in April of this year. So he's fairly new to, to Christendom. When I um, got saved, <clears throat> before I got saved, I was a, I was a hip-hop artist. I was a rapper. And I used to rap um, hardcore, thug stuff, because I grew up in the hood, right? So I didn't become a gospel rapper until like almost like 18 years later because... Although I was overzealous and happy and in love with God and love with Christ, like I was like, oh my God, drooling, going to every service, doing doing the most, right? Telling everybody the good news, but I was so excited because He touched me, He changed me, something happened to me, and you want to express that. So although I went through that, um. I couldn't, I couldn't write gospel rap until about 18 years later. So I am so excited for Kanye. Whenever Jesus touches someone's heart and changes their mind and changes their heart and changes their perspective, their outlook on life and touch them and heal them and deliver them, uh, this man is talking so clear. He's more clear than he's ever sounded. He's not staring off the space. He's able to articulate what he's saying, and we're able to convey. He's able to convey it to us, and we're able to <clears throat> take it in and regurgitate it. And I'm able to tell you back, like this man has a plan and he has a purpose, and and God's hand is on his life. And um, us as Christians, we shouldn't be so judgmental, and you know. But I'll get to that in a minute. I gotta have you up. So, um, the album sounds like a baby Christian. A baby in Christ, you know what I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. This is this is actually journeying, uh, journaling his his journey, and he's going to be absolutely amazing at this. So, the voices on that on the, on those tracks, he put together a heck of a choir. Like when I tell you, those voices are pristine. Like they are clear. They are anointed. And it sounds amazing. But then I have these pockets of, in his songs, certain songs where I feel like the flow is not, it, it, it didn't go with, with, with the beginning or the end of, of the album. Like, I feel like where he's singing, he should have been rapping. Where he's rapping, he may have should have sung a little bit. Like, like you get what I'm saying? I feel like, but that is going to come, I feel like. And I'm very excited. And, um, you know, heaven rejoices over one soul that's saved. So I am super duper excited and happy that Kanye is finding um, health within his mind, within his spirit. He's able to be a, a inspiration to the youth, inspiration to his own household, his own children. Um, and, you know, I'm happy for him. And 
He specifically said, I'm not doing this for culture. I'm doing this for Christ. Like, he is totally 100% sold out. And I love it. I love watching uh, Babes in Christ swim and drink the milk and just, like, and start fl flourishing and growing. And um, us, the body of Christ, we need to pray for him because he's able to reach an audience that some of us may not be able to reach. Okay? So... He has great perspectives coming. He's working on um, sustainable. Uh, um, uh, he's trying to farm and, 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 you know, do clothing and things from the ground up. And he's trying to become more uh, uh, reliant on self, making us self-sufficient than instead of leaning on the foreign uh, um, um, people to, to, to manufacture this and manufacture that. I think that he has a great vision and um, it, it, and, you know, I pray that it works out for him. Um, again, the album was, if I had to give it between a 1 and a 10, I will give it a 5. And the only reason why I'm giving it a 5 is half ways because I know the vision. I, I, I see where he's going. You understand what I'm saying? So the reason why I give it a 5 is because, again, those pockets of space where he, I felt like he should have been rapping, um, you know, uh, more consistently, more on beat, he was singing. And where he had somebody singing, he should have came in with powerful rap, but he's not there yet. He's not there yet, but he's going to get there. And that's what I'm very excited about, because as a gospel rapper, we, that's what all we aspire to do is to encourage and to inspire. What he's doing is amazing, taking church on the road, like taking Sunday service on the road, using music. Um, you know the music is is the number one thing that attracts people. Like, of all cultures, all generations, all genres, I mean, genre of people, music is what connects us. So, I love what he's doing. But the album in all, as a music fan, <clears throat> I like to listen to when I'm thinking about an album, it needs to sound like one whole song to me. But, like, with the ups, the downs. And um, I need them to take me on a journey. And I, I didn't feel, I felt like he would get me there and then drop me. And then pick me back up. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and it just wasn't consistent throughout. And I think that's because he is new. But he's worked with some awesome people. He's worked with Fred Hammond. I see that um, Warren Campbell wrote, co-wrote some songs. The music, the music though, the music on there is dope. Like, what you know, <clears throat> the beats and stuff is dope. But I feel like the flow and the arrangement of songs could have been better. That's it. But what he's saying is, is 100%. What he's talking about is his journey. What he's talking about is, you know, him being able to transition from uh, being a, 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 you know, a rapper for the world and, you know, uh, vain and tangible things to, you know, being, being lifted up by God. And, like, that's a 10 to me. But I'm giving it as a 5 as a music fan um, but I would give it as a 10 as a Christian, but a 5 as a music fan. So, whenever you're doing something for God, there's no rate in that. You understand what I'm saying? Whenever you put being your soul, whenever you being your life out and putting your life out there for people to see, to, to be encouraged, to be moved. Whenever you're trying to push the movement of, of, of Christendom, there, it's 100%. It's a 10 as a music fan, I wanted to see a little bit more consistency in, in the album, and I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted the arrangements to be a little bit better. But overall, I give Kanye a 10 because he is my brother in Christ, and he is striving to be a better him. You can't knock nobody that's trying to be better. So I know Kanye probably ain't going to see this, but you be encouraged, Kanye. You being you be encouraged, brother. We are praying for you. Um, you know, and then as a musical fan, I'm excited to see where he goes from here. That's what that's my review. <laughs> I 
leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel. You know, um, again, I was, um, I, I never canceled him because I seen where he was. You know, when you can see somebody hurting and in pain and just not themselves and just, you know, in a bad place. And you're just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You don't kick them while they down. You pray for them. And then, look, some people were praying for him because, look, and he speaks so, he's so, he's so excited about God. It, it just, it's infectious. He's like, you know, God saved me, you know. And, like, for us who's been saved for a long time, you remember that time when God saved you. Like, it's 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 a feeling and it's it's an, it's an experience that you can't explain you 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 can't articulate it you have to you have to have been there hallelujah you will have to have been there to understand the power of god you know and the things that he's not selfish with it. anybody can be saved Yes, he saved Kanye. He saved me. Like, we ain't perfect. Like, he saved us. So, before I start preaching and preaching and preaching to y'all, um, oh, I got about six minutes to go. Um, so, I'm going to wrap up here. But leave your comments down below. Listen to the album. Let me know what you think. I mean, you know, I ain't the N-O-N-B-O, -be but that's just my opinion. In my opinion, uh, the 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 arrangements of the songs and the pockets of, you know, um, uh, I don't know how, how, how can I say it. There was pockets of uh, where I where I felt it, it lackluster. You understand what I'm saying musically, but the message is 100% attend to me. So guys, leave it down below. Let me know what you think. All right. <clears throat> so thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna go go back to work. And <laughs> until my next video, I'll see you guys again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and push that notification bell. Notification, notification gang, gang, gang. Bye-bye.